friends it's almost mother's day so this is a very easy project to do at home to create some fun flowers because moms always love flowers especially when they're handmade and come from you so this is super easy and you can use any materials you have at home you just need some paper and something to add some color so as you can see this one i painted the flowers um, and i'm going to walk you through different ideas but you don't have to paint. You could use colored construction paper, you could use markers, you could use crayons, and you could use anything that just is gonna add some color. But I will say, if you have a piece of green paper, it will be super easy to get started. If you don't have a piece of green paper, you can either paint a paper ahead of time and let it dry, or try to find something that has some green tones in the background, because that's gonna be like our stem of our flower. So I have a couple choices here. I have dark and light, um, but I think I'm gonna go with the light. So pick your paper. It can be any size you want. This is just like a regular computer sized paper, but you could go nice and big if you have a bigger piece. And we're gonna start to accordion fold it. So you're gonna start at the top. I would say about a half inch or an inch, nothing too bigger. We fold it and then we just flip it. So if you've never done an accordion fold, it's super easy once you get the hang of it. You just go back and forth. Now, I'm taking my time because I want my lines to be as straight as I can be. And you can see I'm kind of using my fingers to go over and back to crease them down to make them nice and flat. So don't brush it. Take nice straight lines. And if you accidentally mess up and you don't get it exactly right, just kind of take it apart and you can redo it. So I'm gonna go all the way to the end, doing that accordion fold. So your last one may not be the exact same size, but that's okay. Just fold it over so that we have a nice clean edge. So it should look something like this when you're done, okay? Now smash it together and then fold it in half. So again, I'm gonna kind of line up my edges and get it nice and folded. Now, if we open it up this way and we hold it in the middle, it's gonna to start to look like the stem of our flowers. So I like to put a little glue in the middle here. You can have glue stick or you could even have a stapler if you have a stapler or a piece of tape. You just need something to hold those two together. So I'm gonna add some glue and then I'm gonna bring them up again in the center, squeeze it. So it kind of creates that nice little um, stuck in the middle so it won't open up on us. I also, at this point, like to take that little flap at the bottom and put a little bit of glue there. Cause this will help it make it stand up a little bit better. And I like, oop, it popped open. I might need a little bit more glue or a little bit more squeezy time. Okay, so you should have your fan that looks something like this, okay? And again, if it keeps popping up on you, maybe add a piece of tape, a little bit more glue, or um, a piece of tape will work, okay? So glue, paper and is all you need to get started. Once we have this part, then you're gonna find some other pieces of paper. Now, I decided this time, I think I'm gonna use markers. Like I said, this one I painted but you could do crayons. You could also get colored construction paper so you don't even have to color it. You just use the colors and um, designs on the papers and just start cutting. That would be super cool. If you have some paper that has some patterns and colors on them already, that would be awesome. So I'm gonna show you a couple ways to draw some simple flowers. I'm just gonna draw a big oval to start. And now remember, my paper's not super big because I started with a little bit smaller one. So think about the size of your flower based on the size of your green paper. If you have a much larger green paper, then you're gonna wanna draw a bigger flower. Um, and you can draw with pencil. I am just chose a Sharpie so that you could see a little bit better. Now I'm just gonna draw those kind of petal-like shapes coming off. 